guys this case will be a bit tricky to visualize but pay attention now what will happen if you multiplied a outside this is what happened the stretch and compression along y axis obviously now the compression should be or the stretch should be along x axis this is what should happen now the compression and the stretch along x axis let's try to visualize now let me change a okay so when a is 1 the graph is of sin x which all of you can see if i increase the a dekhna dhyan se kya hoga see the graph is getting compressed the graph is getting compressed along x axis the graph is getting compressed along x axis pichakte ja raha hai pichakte ja raha hai pichakte ja raha hai theek hai now if i decrease the a if i decrease the a see what will happen the graph is getting stretched the graph is getting stretched see the graph is getting stretched along x axis okay dekhna dhyan se this is the most important case guys this is what i wanted to come to theek hai so red graph is sin x it is completing its one cycle at 2 pi so let me write the period theek hai let me write the period the period is 2 pi note very very carefully what i am doing okay now look at the blue graph the blue graph is completing its one cycle see the one cycle is completing at pi this point is pi so the period is pi now look at the green graph it is wo gaya aage it is not even there so it is completing actually it is completing its one cycle at 4 pi theek hai so the period here is 4 pi now let me tell you a formula all of you please note down the formula if you have the graph of y is equal to sin ax or if you have the graph of y is equal to cos ax please remember its period the period in both this cases is 2 pi by mod a 2 pi by mod a very very important for j advanced and means both the period is 2 pi by mod a okay now this is summary of everything that you have learned till now please note it very very carefully now quickly tell me this after that i'll go to the last case which is the most important at iitj advanced level after this case okay but try to visualize this graph guys visualize this graph dekho let me quickly explain you algebraically sabse pehle that is how you start always visualize sin x to lie between minus 1 and 1 this you know now multiply by minus 2 guys remember when you multiply by a negative number the inequality changes okay minus 2 se multiply karoge this will become 2 minus 2 se multiply karoge this will become minus 2 but whenever you multiply by a minus number inequality changes but still it lies between minus 2 se 2 don't worry but now when you add plus 3 now what you do you add plus 3 on all the sides now add plus 3 add plus 3 on both the sides so it will give you what minus 2 sin x Plus three. This will become what? One. Three minus two. One. Three plus two. Five. If you want to write it in a ulta order, write it in a correct order. One to five. The same thing. I'm just writing it like this so that it's easy to visualize. So one thing is for sure. This is my minimum value, and this is my maximum value. Okay. Minimum and the maximum value. so the answer is the maximum value is 5 i told you the midline will always be this midline will always be what you add in the sine function is always the midline and the maximum value is 5 minimum is 1 so answer is c but if you plot the graph see this is how the graph graph will look so what happened let's visualize step by step first you had y is equal to sin x 
then what you did you multiplied it with a minus sign minus sin x hai na first let's multiply by minus sign so it became minus sin x inversion along x axis now if you multiply by 2 it will get stretched now it got stretched okay now i want to add a number to it what number am i going to add 3 theek hai so let me add 3 to it so when i add the 3 the graph the blue graph will start moving up will start moving up 3 so this is the graph see how you can visualize the graph now so see the graph ka maximum value is what 5 as you already found out the minimum value is 1 guys super important in physics area under the curves definite integration trigonometry when i will teach trigonometry sometime later you will realize iitj problems will become verbal if you visualize it graphically now i am going to give you some questions ready so here are the questions what is the amplitude of this quick 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 very fast what is the amplitude of this i want 70 80 percent correct answers now another question quick 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 what is the period of this graph after this i'll give you one more question that's it okay let's see how many of you are getting it last question hi i am pulkit i hope you really like the video and could learn from it to learn everything about how to transform the graphs visualize them and actually to play with it click on the link below to learn it in that video i'll talk about how to transform the graphs up down left right stretch up down stretch and compress left and right everything so just click on the link below and learn everything about graphs and learn to apply them in physics and many many concepts in maths to get an edge in j advanced